Well, Saturday's Veterans Day, and ahead of the holiday, U Toledo is hosting its annual Appreciation Breakfast and Resource Fair. This afternoon, we have Charles Heiser from Lucas County Veterans Services Commission and Steve Kosinski, Master Sergeant Marine Corps, retired with us to talk more about why events like these are so important. First of all, thank you for coming in, guys. Uh, Charles, tell us about the breakfast. I mean, this has been around for quite a while, but uh, and, and many veterans know it, 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 it's happening, but some veterans may not know, so give me the nuts and bolts. Yeah, so it's the 19th annual Lucas County Veterans Breakfast. So it's sponsored by University of Toledo, Lucas County Veterans Service Commission, Red Cross. A lot of other organizations get involved between sponsors and other organizations that help out with the resource fair part. So when I was on honor flight yesterday, and I've emceed this event now the last four or five years, I made sure to, to mention it to a lot of veterans. And some didn't know about it, and I gave them details to follow it up on it, and they, they seemed very interested. Stephen, uh, the, uh, the resource fair is interesting, too, because a lot of times veterans just don't understand some of the, the, the things that are out there for them. So what will be at the resource fair they can take advantage of? Well, there's going to be a lot of organizations that provide services and benefits to veterans. So we'll have anything from automotive repair to health care. Why is it so important that oh, I know from talking to other veterans, we need to get the word out about uh, telling other people about careers in the military, tell them your story, create interest in the military, because we have such a rich history in this country. Numbers are going down, but people want to know their story, and until they hear details about it, there's just, just no interest in our history at all. Well, you're exactly right, and the older veterans that came up through the world wars in Korea, even some of the Vietnams, those stories stayed at the post. They would go to the VFW, they would go to the American Legion, they would go somewhere, Catholic war vets. And so they would talk amongst themselves, and the families were most left out of that part of their life. Um, most of them were combat, so the, a lot of the vets didn't want to relive that again, especially with somebody that wouldn't understand if they were there. So the post became a very effective place for the veterans to go that were suffering from shell shock or battle fatigue, otherwise known today as PTSD. So we have to make sure that if there's somebody in your family that has a story to tell regarding their military service, they need to share that so it's passed down. It, it shouldn't be kept a secret. Charles, Veterans Services Commission, what are primary, uh, what, what is its mission? What, what, what do you spend most of your time trying to get done for our veterans of Lucas County? So you covered some of the PACT Act information. So when that got passed, it did a bunch more presumptives for cancers and diseases. So we'll help you file your disability claim, which will, should get you more money because more things are covered now by the VA. That's one thing. A big thing. We also do financial assistance for emergencies. You lost your job, you're going to get evicted. That's something we may be able to assist with. So car repairs, evictions, utility disconnections. Uh, if there's a widow left after the veteran dies, we help with widow's benefits. If they're available, we'll help you do the paperwork for that. We're starting to branch off into other things more eventually, within the next six, eight months, hopefully. We'll get to budget classes. We credit repair. We'll try to do other things so if we can make the veteran more productive as a person and help him get back on his feet when there's an emergency, that'll make him more productive in the future for himself. Don't you also provide meals too for in some cases? We do. We do food delivery. Food is a financial assistance that's income based, but then we also do delivery for veterans that are homebound or can't get out. If they want to know about more about Lucas County Veterans Services Commission, who they contact. Yep, they can go to LucasCountyVets.org or they can give us a call at 419-213-6090. Okay, and the breakfast, Friday morning. Yep, we're, we're starting at 9 o'clock when Dan rises to the podium and begins to speak. And, oh, the speaker. Tell us about the speaker. Right. Well, the doors open at 8, mm -hmm. the breakfast starts at 9, and then our ceremony and our official program at 10 o'clock after the breakfast, uh, Chad Halesco, which is the commanding officer of the 180th Air National Guard, um, he's our guest of honor and honored speaker. My friend, good to see you. Thanks to both of you. Thanks for having me.